Y'all trying to fuck my blood pressure up, cuz I can't be watching this kind of shit. This shit f***ed up. Why are you hating? I hit two million views on my basement. Two told me, bro, let's go out on vacation. I'm still on probation, big bro. Finally, Queso has come back with another react shown in today. Today, today, we are reacting to Rap Man, Shiro Story, music video, Link Up TV. Now, shout out to the UK plug. She been telling us for a minute we got to get onto it. No better time than the present, right? But before I do, boom, 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 boom. If you have it, go get a KBD shirt because they're about to be gone. So, for if you haven't got one already, go get one. Now, I'm done talking. But before I... Break it down! Hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Hey, are you doing? Hit that subscribe button because if you don't subscribe, your granny is a dirty, stinking little bitch. We popping off. Let's get it. Shiro story. You ready, yeah? Oh. Whoever wins this race is the fastest. Okay. No excuses. See, we used to do that in the. Excuses, daddy. <laughs> 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 KBD award. KBD award to every dad who done threw one. I be letting my nieces whoop my ass. It's like, sometimes you got to beat them though. Because the little kids get to talking shit hurting your pride. My niece be like, man, you so trash at basketball. I can't believe it, man. You 25 years old. How you letting a nine-year-old beat you at basketball? I be. All right, check up, nigga. I be really. Now I'm ready to oh, for real. Check up. Now I'm really. Doing our ass, you feel me? So sometimes you gotta keep a good balance. That's not fair, I had crap in my leg. Real nigga. Oh, how can you no beat me? Excuses. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> you see that? They don't have no mercy. <laughs> Yo, that shit be fucking my head up. He driving, ain't he? Cuz looking out the passenger window. Nigga, that shit fuck my head up every time I see it. For some reason, I don't really believe y'all drive on the other side of the road. Is that some real shit? Yeah. Family things, man. Bruh. She's getting big though. And she's getting beautiful. Look at her. Definitely taking after her mom. <laughs> hey, why do men compliment other men like that? I swear I'll be, man, your kid's so beautiful. You so lucky she ain't look like you, ugly ass nigga. That's how we say, good job, man. Come this moment, I'll be late. Oh yeah, before I forget. Here you go. What's up for? You almost at four. Already? Yeah. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Your eager beaver, man. Nice, nice, nice. Why are you still working there, fam? What, Fed's come to you? Hey, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. See, I'm from that. I already know what's happening. Bro had fronted him, so I don't got to know nothing. Up. Nigga, I done did that a million times. You done fronted your little homie some work. Your little homie came back with the bread quick as hell. You couldn't believe it. You said, God damn. Man. Rap man. Okay, I'm fucking with you. Because this shit done got gangsta on my ass. Hold on. Well, Fed's come to you tomorrow morning and ask you work on. What are you going to say to them? Mr. Mercedes. I'm going to say don't ask big man questions. You're going to say that to them in court as well. Right? <laughs> That's turning into a whole classic. Why you just turn into belly like that? I know. See, I'm, I've been, come on, man. <laughs> I'm true to this. I ain't new to this. This ain't no cap, nigga. I'm so good at knowing some street shit, but I know some street shit while it's I be in the club telling them, okay, he the dude selling the, uh, okay, he got the chop. Yeah, you know, I know good. I got high mud. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, uh, you done turned into belly. Hold on. Why are you still working there, well, Feds come to you tomorrow morning and ask you work on. What are you gonna say to them, Mr. Mercedes? I'm gonna say don't ask big man questions. And you're gonna say that to them in court as well, yeah? I'm not gonna get caught. I'm gonna get locked up as well, yeah? Learn the game, man. 
shut up. <laughs> they can't drive the car. Punch you in your face. <laughs> I know a nigga who had who was making probably like eighty five hundred dollars a day, just killing it, right? On a just all regular day, you gonna have good days. I didn't could make twenty, right? That nigga worked at a gas station, bro. Cut it with a, one of them. All, that nigga would get into the bag, bro. That nigga worked at a gas station straight up. I mean, that nigga wasn't even know why he got the goddamn he at the gas station with the bands. Fuck no. Yeah, he knew how to do it. Yeah. Use them checks. Yeah. Use them checks. You don't know, you don't know. Check my with my Yeah, just check it. Just check it. <laughs> Oh, it is a song? Wait, it is a record? Oh, I'm ready for a movie. I ain't got a lot of you. Oh, you gotta come with it. The beginning was fire. Hey, yo, Shaggle was a money man, but he wasn't loud, though. 100K cash, but he kept on the down, though. Ooh. Only his girl and his best friend count, though. Shaggle got it, too, and that was all facts to Shaggle. Go! He was a normal guy. He just worked on 9 to 5. Supermarket job. Never thought that he would change his life. Oh! No! What? Oh, no! What? Oh, he really gets some real storytelling off, and the pacing of it I like is great. Sometimes with storytelling, because it is very difficult to do, when rappers do it, they slow it down a lot. They use a very slow uh, flow. But I love that he's the and real. I know he's talking that real shit. What did I just fucking tell y'all? I I know a nigga who was selling, was making a lot of money, and was working at a gas station. And he used to come to us and we would be clowning him, laughing at him. Like, we fucking 15, 16, we don't know no better. We laughing at this nigga. Cuz, nigga, we getting money. What the fuck you doing at the gas station? Cuz retired out the game without never being no, he ain't never catch no charges. He don't work at no gas station now, but he knew better. This nigga talk about a real smart dope boy. Shout out to Shiro. That is my nigga, man. I wish I was more like Shiro. I would have had a lot less charges. KBD Award goes Shiro. Fuck what you talking about. Yo, and his best friend, Kyle, no. Kyle got it too. And that was all facts to Shiro. Shiro Ooh. was a normal guy. He just worked on 9 to 5. Ooh. Supermarket job. Never thought that it would change his life. The most he expected was a supervisor pay rise. So we made sure that his service skills were way high. Who is was polite. And you know the thing about, you know the thing about Shiro? This is a good story because already you can, he is such a well-established character that I already have some kind of synopsis as to who Shiro is as a man, the character of Shiro. But the, the thing about Shiro is you meet guys like this. And like I told you, the guy I was talking about, he retired. These people aren't doing this, this, this trapping or this lifestyle for attention, which a lot of people are. And a lot of people are doing it for the glitz and the glam. Some people just feel like this is the best way I can make this happen. And if I find any other way to do it, whether it's making YouTube videos, whether it's whatever opportunity I can get to not do this and I can still make something, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not tied. To, I don't have love for this shit. This shit has brought me nothing but bad. The only good thing that has ever came from that shit is, is monetary. And you start realizing that it's like selling your soul. But some people are smart enough to go, okay, when I get these opportunities, I must perform at my highest because I can't make the last six minute reaction. Nigga, I'm a fucking felon. I have to say something every time I talk that will make one of you guys believe enough to follow this journey because I am a felon. I can't get a job at McDonald's if I didn't do this shit, nigga. So I say all that to say without incriminating anybody or myself that people like Shiro are more of victims of circumstance or bad decision making and less of bad people. And you have to keep that in mind. Supervise the pay rise, so we made sure that his service skills were way high. Always was polite, always had a smile, 
Always made it clear that he would go the extra mile. Uh -huh. One regular to even serve him for a while. Pulled him over one day and said, I'm ready like a star. Uh -huh. He was from Colombia. Yeah, he was a hustler. Cocaine cartel, selling our customer. Long story short, that man there was the plot. And it didn't take long before he started taking grub. And no, we ain't talking about some typical local. This was a hundred straight pure, it was no joke. Sharon. So. Actually, I, I misconstrued how the story was paced. He was trying his best. He was at the grocery store. He was trying to figure it out, right? And the opportunity came to him to enter into this, you know? I thought he was actually already doing it. That makes for a little different of a narrative. Now we have a little bit of the the... the temptation of you know like succumbing to the devil the deal with the devil metaphorically you have a whole different story arc that you can now explore through what he's telling was his wife away before he got money up. The day that he met her was the day that he fell in love. And they had a kid, a little girl named Kyra. That Shout out to Kyra. Kyra. Design. Anything she needs or she wants, he will buy her. His kid and his wife, that's the reason he cries for. Now we decided that he wants to leave the game. Had a good run, man, now we done with the game. Take his wife. This is such a... Now, now he's trying to step up out the game. You see his homie, the nigga next to him, the nigga buying all the shoes, the nigga buying all the chains, the nigga saying he ain't going to work, work a normal job. You see that, dude? If you watch a movie, American Gangster tells you a story of Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas was, you know, American Gangster. And he never was too flashy. And the day he decided to become too flashy was the day that the dominoes started falling down, right? Watch that nigga. Mine is always a nigga like that. Fuck it up for everybody. Be in jail. Somebody should have got a job. Yeah, nigga, I told you to get a fucking job. God, I hate that nigga. Get the moving straight out of London. Start a business and start to legally function. Kira, she was happy. That was all that she wanted. Carl, he was pissing. He trying to stop shit. Shara let him know that he had to let it go. He's gonna quit while he's ahead before they take him off the road. Told him that his family's gotta come first. But you're my brother, I would never leave you in the lurch. I had to. It's always a person like this who can't see perspective. I gotta talk about the storytelling of rap man, and this is so phenomenal that it's almost as if I'm not really listening to a rap song. I know it isn't like this is the greatness of rap, but this is just literally a movie. This is just, I'm literally watching this and my brain is breaking it down and interpreting it as if I'm just watching scenes of a movie. This is just television, maybe a good episode of Power. But look at it. It's so predictable, nigga. I'm true to this. I ain't new to this. I told y'all. I already know how this gonna play out. Nigga, I'd have been there. It's always, that's how it goes, nigga. This, and look at it. When you look at, like, Paid and Fool, watch that movie, right? And you watch Cameron's character. When bro tries to get out the game, he ends up trying to kill him. Is this nigga gonna try to, man? Don't tell me he pulled a camera off and paid a fool on my nigga Shiro, because I will slide your blight skinned ass. It's already arranged. I told them when I'm gone that you'll be picking up the king. They asked me, I'm not sure. I said, no doubt in my brain, trusting with anything. Me and you were like the same. You're my brother. Kyle couldn't believe it. He gave him the plug. He was so happy, kick shot. You gave him the plug? This is the problem with us. Why are you giving your dumb nigga the plug? Oh my god. How you gonna give him the plug, Shiro? This nigga, man. This nigga on bullshit. Uh, yeah, he was gas, but deep down, he was up like anything. Me and you were like the same. You're my brother. Kyle couldn't believe it. He gave him the plug. He was so happy, kept Shiro a hot. Yeah, he was gas, but deep down, he was bark because he's gonna miss his boy that he grew with and he loved. So you're ready to leave him, yeah? It's gone. I guess at least he's getting out the game completely. Like he's 
he's moving all the way off the chessboard. I got you got to respect it. That's how you get out the game because the thing about it is like it's an environment thing. Even if you decide to stop selling drugs, well, your community knows you as a drug dealer with all the numbers on your phone knows you as a drug dealer, your friends, all these people, your interactions are always on that basis. It's sort of hard to re-enter into the regular society after being in that for so long. So what you might have to do is do a thing where you change a location. You might need to completely sort of isolate yourself so that you could redefine, reshape your narrative and your reality into what it is now and opposed to what it was before and you don't want it to be anymore. So you got, nah, I don't even know. Some up north, maybe Manchester, Cove, wherever. It's a couple of hours drive. Oh, that's a night work. Night work. And we drive up there for gal. That's <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing. <laughs> But who's going to go with Jimmy, man? But Jason can support you. Jason's weak, fam. Yeah, no, Jason is kind of weak. Jason kind of weak. Yeah, he's bottom. <laughs> and he's going to watch match of the day. Oh, it's a blind spit, fam. Come on, man. I'm going to see. I'm going to drive off every weekend. Every weekend? <coughs> so you sure she's the one for you? Yeah. That should be tragic, man. When you had that little moment, it's like when you grow, as you're growing older, you know, like these are some of your friendships, some of your brotherhoods, no matter what we were doing, you know? And like the idea of this is a guy, when I woke up every, bro, being in the streets, the connection you make to your friends, gang, whatever you call it, is different, bro. You're not going to work. So when you wake up, you with them. Your family kind of probably going to be kicking you out a lot because you're going to be doing a lot of bullshit. So you're going to go be staying with them. When you go to party, you're going to go to with them. When you start playing sports, you're all going to go to school together. It's going to be... So you will spend 18 to whenever how long a nigga's run is with these people every day, bro. It's, oh my God, the connection is different. So when you realize, when you, when Shiro goes, I got to leave, I got to better myself. Boy, that shit. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that shit hurts. That shit feel like you killed them. Like, you you feel like you're doing something to them. And the fact that now you know, like, because the reason you put all your homies in position, the reason why you might have given your homie the plug is because at the time you thought this was the best thing for them. But then it's like, this is like my fucking brother and I'm leaving you here. And I know why I'm leaving. And I'm leaving you to that reality that essentially I need to run from. Man, that shit's fucked up. You want to take him with you? But Shardy, anyway, he didn't make that decision. He's not ready for that in life. This is just, who this bitch good on my mama, this sh So you sure she's the one for you, yeah? How you doing too much? I love her, bro. No, shy. I'm saying, are you sure she's the one? I'm gonna marry her. You've already got the ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a nigga who do that shit hard. Proud of you, bro. And I have to say as well, man, thank you. And thank you, bro. From the bottom of my heart, man, thank you. It's you, man. You put me on. You know what I mean? Food, money, clothes, all of that. I owe that to you. Yeah, yeah man. Just want to say thank you, bro. You, bro. My right hand. Prime me. Prime, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. No, 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 and maybe it just I'm a screen nigga mine, bro. Y'all be listening to Juice World, and that shit be making y'all cry. And I feel that shit do be making me a little sad. But boy, I be this shit be choking me up, cause this shit I just feel it. I just feel it. I'm sorry. I don't be feeling that other shit. 
I don't be feel, not that I don't, I don't feel it like this, nigga. This shit real, bro. I let it. I seen this one. This oh, uh, this one happened. This one happened. This one happened. This one happened. Hey, this one happened. Keep him off down the line, nigga. Shot was last night. Give me the girl with his kid in the morning, catch a flight. They're moving away so they can start a new life. Plus, he proposed, so she's gonna be his wife. Okay. He was in the club celebrating a farewell party. The toast to his engagement. Kim called the man. Everyone he kept close. Balls popping everywhere. Shower paid for all of those. Told him drink up. Oh, Canada! The shower paid for all of them. Where'd the closed caption come from? What the fuck? Ash, why rap man in the club with him? All of those told him drink up, no stress, I'm a good type. He just wants to see them all happy on his last night. Everybody's waving, everybody's nice. He phone starts to ring and it was Kira on the line. Was nasty in the club, so we took her outside. When he picked up the phone, straight grease on the line. Yo, babe, your money, man. I'm in your house with your wife and kid. Who's this? No long, I'ma make this quick. Look, I just want to call to the safe. Give me that and then they're both you safe. Who the fuck are you? Real money, that ain't the call to the safe. That made me have to shoot your girl in the face. Shut up, please. Just get on the call. Y'all trying to fuck my blood pressure up, cuz I can't be watching this kind of shit. This shit fed up. F that nigga. Oh, you gotta leave him. You got. Oh, you gotta leave this nigga, bro. I wish a nigga would. Have you ever seen something that made you just so like wish a nigga would play with you like that? I will drop a nuclear bomb on your fucking house. I'll figure. I'm gonna do some shit that a nigga has never. Done before if a nigga ever played. Oh my god. And I'm gonna give you the code and they have it. You would have the whole shit. Imagine leave my kid, my wife, my girl. But oh my god, I'm paying Haitians, the whites, the Asians. I'm paying anybody. We gonna oh we gonna get your bitch. And you see how you trying to be a little plow with it. You see how you trying to like make jokes. I'm a six two three four five six seven five 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 five. I'm getting you the lick out the safe. Take it. Take that little bands. I got. I'm a. Ooh, wait till I get you. I mean, me after shooting your girl in the face. Shot him, please. Just get on the call. Hide this gas and I just want him to go up. In that safe, that's all the money I've made. If I let him take it down, I have nothing to my name. At least you have us. Yeah, you're right. Give him the phone. It's gonna be your right. Shot him, please. Never mind, I love that nigga. I'm sorry for disrespecting. That's your Ryan Die nigga. That's your, I love him. I love him. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You is a little. I ain't gonna lie, but you a rider, and I re case so respects that in the bottom of his mind. KBD the award. I'm sorry for play. He like Tony Yayo. I like a nigga who go slide for him. Nigga. I'm a slide for mine. You hear me? So that nigga where he slide by his shit, I'm fucking with him all for real. I'm fucking with him. I'm coming there now. I'm waiting for me to come before you run inside the house. Shower gets home. A nigga in the club that Listen, listen, let me tell y'all, let me give y'all some guy. If you have a safe in your house, don't really keep no money in there. You got to keep like $160 and some fake jewelry in there. Let me tell you something. I mean, not even like $160. Keep like 22 bucks and some fake jewelry because they don't think they hit on the jewelry it's in the safe. Because when they hit, boy, you need to keep safe buried in the backyard of your cousin's house. You buried in your own backyard too easy. They don't get how you out there with the metal detector. These niggas ruthless out here. 
Keep it in your cousin backyard. I keep boy. They used to call me a rabbit. Swear to God. Swear to God. Ask my mama. They found me in one neighborhood, nigga, with COVID digging in my drawers. They thought I went crazy. I had not gone crazy. I swear for God, I did not go crazy. Just thought I was like a block away with a shovel in my drawers. It might look great out of my homie crib. But I ain't know. What's that bitch? No. Dig it. What the crowd? <laughs> they thought I had went nuts off the COVID. Nah, nigga. My money was in that motherfucker ball. Try to get my shit out. Keep it door and the stuff is all gone. See if it's all empty. Baffled them confused. Why wouldn't man take them and their clothes and their shoes? It's calling Kira, but she's not picking up. He's a bastard. Oh, I would have, oh, get her, get her, she robbed, I knew it, I, there was a little part of me that I said, no, they got a kid together, right, no. y'all doing niggas like this, it Cause we ain't even on no cool shit, man. Usually I put these on cause we would be on some cool shit, man. But right now I'm putting these on because of the fact we are not on no cool shit, man. Let's talk about it. Man, their clothes and their shoes is cool and camera, but she's not picking up. He's about to call the police cause he's running out of luck. But then he sees the letter on the floor, he picks it up. But then he sees the letter on the floor, he picks it up. Yeah, Shiro, my love, I'm sorry. I know right now you must feel so confused. No, there wasn't really a robbery. I staged that to get the call from you. I took your money and I took Kyle. And you're never gonna see us again. I didn't do it just to hurt you. But there's someone else and I wanna be with him. I know you're thinking, how could I take your daughter? But the truth is, she's not even yours. I knew it! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I swear to God, I knew it. I swore on everything I, I knew it. I knew it. I literally knew it. Nigga, I should have said it. I swore for God, I knew it. I was like, the, uh, cause think about it. A bitch, a, a girl who would do a nigga that grimy, you don't think she would lie on a kid? I, right when I heard, I, I, I put two and two that she hit him, I said, that's not even her kid. If she would do that to a nigga, she'd do whatever. What? You gotta stop looking at She might not even be a girl. I cheated all of 10 years back. And he's the reason that I'm doing this for. He said, if I take your money, then we can all be together. Just me, him, and Kyle. And watch this. He gonna leave her ass. That's how it always go. That's how it always go. You ever seen Casino? That's how it always go. This is great writing. This is like, oh my God, this is like a good movie. Not even just a movie. It's like a great movie. Started life and run away together. But Kyle, she wants to cry. But one day I make her understand. I actually named her after her father. Your friend Kyle, that's her real dad. Now look. I knew I didn't like that motherfucker. I said it. Why do I go against my guns? I told you I'm the dude who walks in the club and instantly knows he's doing the gun. I'm just the fucking Jedi. I don't know why I go against my... I knew he was a bitch. I knew it just looking. I did not say it. I, I swear to God, I knew something was up with cuz off rail. I knew it. 
I knew, I knew it. I knew something was off about that nigga, cuz. I, oh my God, I knew it. The beat was him. Goodbye. They took everything from that nigga. Oh, this is how killers are made. Y'all playing with y'all playing with him for no fucking. Why are you playing with that nigga like that, bitch? Nigga, that was an exp. Oh my god, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I was just there's, because your business gets. There's more parts. I was a certified vibe check. Drop a thumbs up, comment. Yo, here comes another reaction by me here, big music video by me here, big. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. You watch the video long, you hit that thumbs up button. You a hoe. Stop being a hoe. Drop to me what your favorite part of that was. God, and don't spoil nothing about. It. If you spoil anything about part two, I'm blocking you off the channel. I'll never see a comment from you again. KB family, love y'all. Salute it. It was good.